Hey friends, before you start this craft, make sure you check out uh, short tip number 110 where I show mostly how to do this craft. I'm just going to do some a little bit of recap and show you what's different about this craft. Hey crafters, we're back for some more ooze fun, right? And I'm doing the gray ooze this time and I'm going to use the baby blue glue sticks from Surebonder. So check those out, pick them up, and you can craft along with the DM Scotty. All right, just like the other oozes, we are going to make blobs in the water, right? And the blobs are going to be medium size, so we're going for the one inch size. And I'm not touching the nozzle with the water. It can be hard to see in the video, but so don't touch the water with the uh, nozzle or anything like that, right? Okay, cool. So now that that's done, we're going to do the pseudopods like we did before, but this time we are going to make them larger, right? Because in the description of the gray ooze, it talks about it being like a snake. So I was trying to go for like a single, like thick pseudopod. So I'm trying to make the pseudopod thicker. Uh, kind of doubling back on itself to make it thicker in the water see there and uh, that's what we're going to do to make the, the single pseudopod for the gray ooze. So like the other oozes we're going to fill in the top here and then we're going to attach these large pseudopods kind of like I'm going for like a snake look because that's like the description that it kind of slithers like a snake right and so I'm going to glue that on like I did the other pseudopods but unlike the other pseudopods I'm actually going to kind of double up on some glue when I glue it on and so there's some strands of glue coming up from the body uh, onto the pseudopod because it's such a large pseudopod. Now as you can see these are baby blue they look kinda like a light gray though right so I'm gonna dirty them up a bit to kinda fit in more with the stones something I haven't done with the other slimes and jellies right and oozes I am going to dip it in a black wash okay and then we'll let that dry and that'll kinda dirty up the gray ooze to make it look look a little more like stone. As Roderick and Hilga continue their investigations, they come across a room with broken terrain. They carefully pick their way through, when suddenly some of what seemed like boulders spring to life and leap forward, slithering at them with powerful pseudopod ready to engulf them and dissolve them into nothingness. Hey friends and fellow crafters, I hope you enjoy these vids as much as I enjoy making them for you. Uh, if you want to get more involved in the craft, subscribe. Also check out my Patreon, I've got extra content on there as well as a super secret uh, Scotty Facebook group that you can, you can join. Uh, check out these other videos for more fun crafts. And uh, if you want to help out a little more, you can check out my links below. They're affiliated links and it gives me a little bit of a kickback, right? And that helps me uh, to make these videos and get more materials and stuff to try it out to uh, show you guys. So you you guys take care, have fun, go forth and craft.